There's a new push to phase out the sale of tobacco in California. The recently introduced bill would prohibit anyone born after 2006 from purchasing tobacco products. Now, ABC 10's Morgan Reiner covers all things politics, and the question is, how exactly would this work? Yeah, guys, it could mean a lifelong ban for anyone who's under the age of 16 right now. Even when today's kids reach the age of 21, they won't be able to purchase cigarettes if it passes into law. The tobacco industry told me they are ready to fight it. It took Tony Georgie a second to tell me how he feels about tobacco. How do you feel about phasing out tobacco in California? I'm all for it. Why? Uh, it's not good for you. It kills people. He supports Assemblymember Damon Connolly's attempt to phase it out with a bill that says anyone born after January 1st, 2007 can't buy tobacco products in California. It definitely is very expensive. People started getting dependent on it and it's crazy to think people are really ruining their lives. Nahal Naraya sees the impact tobacco has over family members and supports the idea too. It messes with their head. It, they have mental health issues. Uh, I've seen it plenty of times in my own family, so I don't want others to experience that themselves. But Charles Janigan says it's their choice to smoke. Just is not fair to those who enjoy smoking. He is the president of the California Association of Retail Tobacconists. He said the state will lose billions. You know, the state of California is the beneficiary to well in excess of a billion dollars in tobacco tax revenue annually. And so will small business owners. There's approximately 20,000 retailers in the state of California who sell tobacco products. And out of that 20,000, there may be uh, two or 3,000 uh, shops that are dedicated strictly to the sale of uh, premium cigars, pipe tobacco. He's ready to fight this. It's not going to go through, but, you know, we're, we're going to oppose it uh, with all of our might. Now, this bill will not criminalize anyone in that age category if they have a tobacco product. This will penalize stores for selling it. Well, Morgan, we're curious, has any other state or any other place been successful in having this kind of legislature? The Associated Press reports that there is one city within Massachusetts that passed a ban within its city borders for anyone born after January 1st, 2000. And so far, the courts have let it stay in effect. Mm -hmm. That is good perspective, Morgan. This is one we're going to be following, I'm sure. Morgan, thank you.